Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a video all about hair and all of the products that I use. How I've really been surprised at how quickly and good my hair has grown out uh, since I got it cut in mid-January, which, I mean, I guess it's been a while, but it was pretty short. I feel like it's grown a lot. So I'm going to give you some of my tips for, um, as always, just for growing healthy hair, what I've been doing lately. Um, some products are a little different, some things you'll re remember. Also sort of like sharing with you some of my just healthy hair habits, I guess. And of course, I know so many people color their hair. I'm not saying, oh, you can't color your hair. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, you know, maybe sometimes give it a break. Sort of don't feel like you have to do it so often and pull back when you can like you know be you might surprise yourself you might really actually like it if you go back to your natural color or do whatever i'm not saying to do that because i know that hair color is one of those things i remember one time i was getting my hair done at a different salon and i had really blonde hair and it was coming up on fall and the girl said you need to do some low lights or something because it's getting to be fall and you know you're just too light and i remember thinking if i have blonde hair and that's what i want that's what i want i don't care what season it is so I know that hair color is a really personal thing, so just do what you want to do. I'm going to get into the products, I'm going to get into every, everything in a moment, um, but there are things that you can definitely do that will help. Um, first of all, low maintenance. Choose, um, if you're getting your hair done or something, and you're, or you're making a new decision with it, um, keep in mind the maintenance, and maybe even choose something that may not be as high maintenance. If you, if you have hair that's the color of mine but you want to do a little bit of highlights or you want to lighten it up, rather than having them put it at the roots like traditional highlights which can look really streaky, get them to do more of like the current like ombre effect which I don't even think is super trendy unless if you like you know that look that was just totally like painted from here down, you know which that's not a, that's not good but you know just getting them to sort of like paint in like different sections starting lower so that as it grows out you don't have to do anything to it. Um, I'm gonna get to my products in a moment because I've realized this is a routine video but just to give you a few more tips that work for me I definitely um, embrace my hair texture it's very straight um, this is probably the mo most high maintenance thing I do to it, which is I blow dry it and I curl it. I don't do this every day. It would be very damaging if I did, although I do use good products to protect it. But, you know, a lot of times I, it, my hair doesn't get frizzy, so I don't feel like I have to blow dry it and, like, really brush it and do all that. I don't even use a brush when I blow dry it. A lot of times I just let it air dry, and then I don't do anything to it. I'm still going to do that beachy hair no heat thing soon, I promise. That's definitely on the list to do soon. Have not forgotten about that. If you've got curlier hair, frizzier hair, find a curl cream or a product that's gonna like really give you definition and keep you from having to like do so much to it, you know, rather than having to use a lot of heat, which can sometime just be even worse for frizzy hair. Sometimes it's best just to use a curl cream and call it a day for certain looks. Also taking um, hair nails and skin vitamins, those actually I feel like really, really work. I've taken them especially the last couple of months when I've really been like trying to get my hair to grow longer and I can honestly say that I have noticed a huge difference um, just in like how it's growing in how shiny it is I do feel like it's growing um, more I, I do feel like it's growing faster um, but I do feel like it has gotten a lot longer you know I don't have really resilient hair. It's very fine and will break and it's very delicate. If my hair has stayed healthy over the years through all of the crazy bleaching that I did to it for several years, even before I started, when I started YouTube I had very dark hair, but before that I had bleached it for years. Um, so if I've kept it healthy and I've used a lot of these products doing so, I feel like hopefully it will kind of show you that you know you don't have to spend a whole ton because it's kind of a mix of high and low. So next I'm going to show you the products that I actually use. When I look back at my really like awesome hair moments in the past, a lot of these products and things that I'm going to mention are things that I was using at the time. So I've sort of, I feel like I'm, I'm at the point where I'm sort of just doing what works. You know, I always like trying new things, but I think that you get to a certain point where you realize what works for you, what doesn't, especially with hair. The shampoo and conditioner I use is just no different. It's the um, Pantene Volume. I really like this one. It has no silicone in it. It is very weightless. I really, really can tell a difference when I use this one. People can say what they want about Pantene, say, oh, it has plastic and everything. No. That whole rumor got started because of the silicone, but silicone is in like face products, it's in so many hair products, it is in everything. Um, so I like that it doesn't have it, I mean, I don't know, it's just one less thing to coat on your hair. There's no buildup, it really makes my hair feel clean. It has the benefits of like a clarifying shampoo, but without 
any of the negatives. Like it doesn't make my hair feel dry. It makes it feel honestly really like slippery, almost like it did have silicone or something. You know like that good feeling sometimes that like you can, you know like when you use a product that has silicone, it kind of feels like that but it just feels like clean and healthy. And when I use this, I can look at my hair and tell a difference. When I look back at the videos where my hair looked the best, it was always when I was using that. Um, I've used that for years since high school. I've used some kind of Pantene. Every time I go to a stylist, whether it's the one that I always go to or if it's like a different one that I've gone to a few different ones over the years, they always say that my hair's in really good health. So uh, the conditioner that I like is the Daily Moisture Renewal. The only thing I will say about that, if you have darker color treated hair, it's not going to really be a shampoo that like protects your color fade out. But for me, I mean, I don't really mind. And honestly, I mean, it hasn't faded that much, especially since the last time that I got my hair done. Honestly, it faded more when I was using the Aveda Color Conserve, but that could have been just because it was the first time that I had had it colored. The conditioner that I like to use, um, I use up the rest of the Aveda um, Damage Remedy, and I really like that. It's very expensive. But honestly, I don't notice a difference, and this one feels exactly the same as that one. I just like the way it makes my hair look and feel. If something gave me those results, I would spend a lot more. Uh, but whether it's expensive or cheap, expensive within reason, I like to use what works. So I do really like those products. So the only product that I've really been using in my hair is this. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This is exactly like this. <laughs> But still, I love this, and if I could still get this, I wouldn't even think of using this, but it's the Alterna Hemp. You've seen me talk about this for six years on here now, and I used it way before that. It's the Color Hold Thickening Compound, and it does a million different things. It does every single thing that this one does, um, but it has Color Hold, it has a heat protectant. Does this one have a heat protectant? Maybe. It says strengthens. I don't know. Um, and then it has a UVA filter, UVAB, whatever filter. This, I think, is what kept my hair from getting fried out over all those years when I would, um, when I would color it and bleach it. I would put it in my roots and then sort of run whatever was left to the ends, and my hair was always so, so healthy. And still, if I ever use this, I can tell such a big difference. This is one of my last bottles that I think I scooped up on Hot Look like a couple years ago when they came out on there. I probably have like that much left. Um, I have looked on the actual hemp website or the Alterna website and they do have the hemp line on there still. Granted, that was several months ago. It may be gone now. And I and everything says it's out of stock. And I've been told by so many people and things that it is um, discontinued, the, the whole hemp line. But I emailed them at the website and they said that it, all they would say is that it was out of stock. They wouldn't confirm whether it was discontinued or not. So my fingers are crossed that that will come back because that is the best hair product of all time. But this is a good substitute. This gives just as much body and control. When I say it's not as good, it, it provides the same exact um, result. It just, I know that that one does more. It has like the heat protectant and um, does, it's, it's just, I, I don't know, it's just better. I just like it better. It smells better too. But this is a good product. I will continue to repurchase this because I can't get that anymore. And this is another product that I have been using, you know, sort of in place of the other one. All three of these are very similar. It's the Bamboo Plumping Strand Expand also by Alterna. And um, I could never really tell a huge difference either. Um, this one is very similar to both of those. And these are actually super similar. They do the same exact thing and feel exactly the same. I haven't compared the price of these. So I need to do that before I repurchase. If I run out of this one or I'll probably use both of them before I repurchase one or the other. I will say the one thing that this one does that neither one of those do and maybe why I might be swayed to repurchase this one again, especially over this one, is because I can use this and let my hair air dry and it doesn't get crispy or anything. It looks, it still provides volume. Whereas both of those, the other ones, you kind of have to use a hair dryer with it to get the full effect. Um, it kind of can make your hair look a little limp, you know, if you don't blow it out. Uh, but this one, you can do either one. So I'm liking that because a lot of times I do forego using um, heat styling on my hair since I don't really have to. So I'm glad I remembered to mention that because that probably is one thing that pushes the perfect hair day a little over the edge of the other ones. When I'm curling my hair I always use a heat protectant. Um, sometimes I just use the Tresemme spray. I didn't bring it in here. Um, it doesn't really have a heat like a, I don't feel like it holds the curl as well as this one. This is a heat protectant and a curl spray. You've seen me mention this 
a million times. <laughs> it's the hot off the press. And I just spray it on each section and then curl. And um, then after it cools a minute, I can actually c brush out all of it and it keeps the curl. Um, but makes it look smooth. As far as hairspray and stuff, I really like this uh, Tresemme Tray 2 hairspray. This is probably the only hairspray you've seen me talk about in a while that I really like. It's a good one. So that's really it. That's what I do to my hair. As far as coloring it and upkeep and all that, I'm not doing anything right now. I have no plans to color it again anytime soon. I don't really know what I'm going to do to it in the future. The only thing, um, I, I do like it to have some dimension. I like this sort of like dimension that it's kind of creating on its own as the color fades and like I said I wouldn't mind if the color faded a lot more but over the years as I grow it out I might add just a little bit of like golden you know highlight to it not from the roots though almost like an ombre effect without doing the whole thing I may add like a few little strands that will just sort of grow out with it nothing that I have to upkeep even when I bleached my hair I would probably only get it done every four months so that's probably another reason why it stayed healthy but I am just an anti hair maintenance type of person I like to just let it go and do what it wants to do and not I just, I hate the look of freshly dyed hair. I just don't think it looks good um, for me, personally. I like it just to look sort of lived in, and right now, though, it looks pretty good and styled, but you know what I'm saying. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's just what I'm currently using. A lot of things you've seen before, a couple of new things, a couple of new tips, but um, that's it for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.